First off, I just want to start this video by saying sorry for the people I couldn't comment on their videos. Um, with school starting again, it kind of became difficult, but I'm going to start from now on. And here is the 176 scale D-Day Battlefront made by Airfix. So I wanted to make this battle like it was already happening. I first wanted to do an ambush, but then all the characters were already molded in fighting stances. So pretty much what I have here was um, the Panzer pretty much leading the troops into battle. Then you have another squad of Germans rushing in, and three over there. And I just wanted to make the Americans pretty much outnumbered and outgunned, which I think it shows. One died right there. There's a radio operator right there. Let me see if the camera will pick him up. Pick him up. It's a little hard, but you can see him right behind the sandbags. And you have the troops running alongside the, sh the Sherman, and one guy throwing a grenade. So I think that's turned out nice. Uh, some people fighting over here. And over here, there's clay. I use that for bricks, or to make it look like bricks. Not the best, but it works. And we have two uh, Germans over here. They captured the radio operator and the wounded man over there. And uh, yeah, I just detailed uh, as much as I can for this. And I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, all the debris was painted and everything. So yeah, I was able to complete this in like a week or so, just on again, off again work, uh, slowly pacing across a few days. And yeah, um, and just a little update. I got two new kits, a Camaro that I'm doing for my brother. Uh, let me see if I could grab it real quick. One second. This is the Camaro I'm doing for my brother. And it's in gloss black, as you can tell, obviously. And I'm doing it in white stripes. That's what he wanted. And black interior. Turned out nice. Uh, so a little funny thing. <laughs> Just 10 minutes ago or so, I came back down. And turns out the body was completely... Uh, what do you call it? Like, um, had white all over it. Like it was clouded or something. I don't know what happened, really. And it was just completely messed up. So this is a whole new batch of paint. Or coat of paint. That I just put on a few minutes ago. But yeah, that's that. Then I have a Trans Am that I'm going to do as well. So I'm going to do that in brown. But yeah, that's it. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.